saying that as I go into that Hall of Fame this afternoon, that I will not be walking in there by myself. And I do not stand alone. And I haven't stood alone my entire life. And that's why I think that I am one of the luckiest people you'll ever meet. But man, how great is it that this great game of football has taught me how lucky I have been in my life. You know, the great thing about football is it's a special game played by special people because you have to learn to love each other, to be committed to each other, to sacrifice for each other. And my God, how lucky was I to play with the, the players and the coaches that I did. Man, I tell you what, playing the game of football will teach you so many things. Deacon has talked about all the different qualities. Of course, John just mentioned them. I don't want to go over them again. But I got to tell you something. It'll teach you how to compete. And you know, life's based on competition. But man, I tell you what, I am so fortunate to be around so many great people that taught me how to compete in my life. Because as you got off that film there, I didn't want to play football. I guess a lot of these guys on the stage grew up thinking they wanted to go to the Hall of Fame at some point in their life. I never thought about the Hall of Fame. But I tell you what, once I got involved in the game, it teaches you those qualities that you really look for. That not only in football, but in life. That give you the strength, the dedication, and the courage to try to become and strive to be the best person you can be on and off the field. But I tell you what, how lucky was I that as I learned to compete in this game, that the good Lord had me go to Chicago where I got to play with one of the greatest competitors of all time, number 34, Walter Payton. Now I got to tell you something. I got to play nine years with Walter Payton. Man, it wasn't because Walter's the biggest or the strongest or the fastest that he's the all-time NFL leader in yardage, but it's because he had the biggest heart. Now, I'm not saying he wasn't a great athlete. I, I watched Walter a long time. I got to see him play tennis by himself once, and that's pretty impressive if you think about it. But my God, how lucky was I to be a part of his career and his life. 